before you call me crazy which i'm not by the way which i am a little bit but this is not crazy if you're thinking that i've kept these headphones just for show that's not the case i actually have some music running in the background for me because every time i start making videos like before starting to talk to you guys i have this little prep session where i put on some music and walk around my room in the house just to get to that mood to start talking because i am a chatty person that is one thing but i also when i have all these ideas and i have to put all that together and organize and stuff it it overwhelms me you know anybody who talks on camera or who is a new youtuber will know that because it's so overwhelming sometimes and you run out of words to talk so i like to have that just a prep session to to get me in the mood to talk to you guys so i was just thinking about what if i keep some music on in the background like with my laptop while i talk to you guys but that runs the risk of getting a copyright for my videos but i still wanted to keep some music with me when i talk because it really gets me into the mood of talking expect more of my videos with this thing on and i love it can you believe it i have i actually have music running in the background all right getting to today's video hello fellow hippies welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm silpa in this channel we talk about everything related to peace and productivity and purpose and finding your passion and progression and everything p today i want to talk to you about something that i discovered and i'm excited about to share with you because i really feel that it's gonna help you with content creation so how i make reels on my instagram is i'll be sitting i i usually like to record something when i do it so imagine if i'm in the kitchen i'll have something i'll have just i'll just hit the record button and just record whatever i'm doing and when i go for a walk i'll have like a tiny video made it's just a video i'll just turn on the camera and just look at the video and just you know just film whatever i see or i might film myself and i have all these tons of videos and footage in my gallery so what i do with my instagram reels is i take that one of that i find a nice trending audio and i will have all these different thoughts like my brain is always blasted with ideas and it's always on the go and it's always running so i will have like sudden ideas and inspirational something that dawns on me and then i want to share it so what i do is i bring the videos from my from my files bring the put it onto a nice trending audio or sometimes not even trending audios a, a, a music that i love and i think it connects with the video and all that and then i put all these readable texts on that just giving out the message and then what i did was i'm like why okay this is a good idea i want to make a youtube short around this so and then what i did was the same day i made a youtube shorts video which was the same idea but it's not on a random video or with texts or anything it had auto captions but it was me talking it was like a talking head video like this because youtube needs that right like youtube wants you to like make short form content which is not which does not have like a trending audio from reels because i think that's good for you i did that and that's when i realized that i actually have a system set already because without even me knowing it so when you start your journey on youtube or even with anything if you want to land an online business or you're learning to grow and stuff there'll be so many things so many inputs that you get from all this google chat gpt and your even youtube videos you learn a lot from youtube one of the things that i heard was to people repurposing your content from youtube from your long form content you chop that into small small ones and then you put that as shorts on your youtube shorts and then you repurpose all that into your instagram but i want to do something different and that works for me and i honestly think it might work for you too so hear me out 
I call it the reverse repurposing. Just the same thing that I told you. I take ideas. I have these ideas in my head when I make my Instagram reels because honestly, Instagram is kind of my jam because I started with Instagram. So I know more about how reels work on Instagram and the importance of trending audio and stuff. So I get those ideas. I put that all together and put a reel out and I can take that reel, the same message in that reel into making a shorts video, right? This is like my content strategy now. So what you do is wh whenever you have an idea about a reel or something like a tiny, tiny bits and pieces of ideas that you get for your YouTube or whatever, even when you're like randomly sitting around having your coffee or cooking or even in the shower, shower is time that when you get most of your nice ideas. <laughs> At least it is for me. When you get that, you write that down and make a reel out of it. Just make a reel out of it on Instagram. Once you make that, you have a content idea within your channel, within your handle, and then you can repurpose that into shorts. And then what you can do is once you have like five to six ideas or even like eight ideas, like once you have like, imagine you are bringing out one tiny concept, like one small thing every day on your Instagram and you are posting that as your reel. So you are on Instagram, you're putting out reels every single day, reels or posts or carousel posts or whatever. And then you bring that into YouTube shorts and you make shorts out of it, like talking about what you gave, what you uh, expressed on your reel, not, not like a video or anything, but just talking about it, like a talking head. If you watch my YouTube reels, I mean, YouTube reels, YouTube shorts, you will know that that's what I'm doing. So when I give it there and I come here and I talk about it, which has like more emotions to it, you know, and then what you can do is once you have like nine to 10 ideas or eight ideas, seven ideas, you can compile, com compile, compile all that together and you can make a YouTube video out of it because most often you will have something more to add towards that tiny idea that you had it might be inspirational it might be motivational it might be just 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 dealing with your struggles or a happy thing that you had could can be anything so you can combine or combine oh my god my words are like all around which is always the case you guys know me i struggle with accents and one of my videos that video that i made about english accents is like blowing up i love that you, sh you guys should go watch that after this video because i'm talking i'm, I'm just talking uh, my heart out in that video and the struggles that i had and how i am dealing with that and how i'm growing and learning and improving my language through all those strategies so that's a good mindset to have guys I, you should really watch that so once you watch that video you will understand why i stutter with certain words like combine and compile i ch mixed the words together things only i can do so bear with me you know me so anyways so you can combine all those ideas and bring out a new youtube video and it feels so effortless guys you you're not sitting down and brainstorming for ideas and having to write down like a big essay of stuff that you have to talk about you're just talking your heart out you're just expanding on the tiny ideas that you shared as a reel on your instagram and it's so sustainable when you sit down to think about something you're not gonna get those ideas nothing is gonna land on you trust me i've tried that i'm like okay today is ideation day i'm just gonna ideate everything make all those ideas today i'll just write down all the ideas tomorrow i'll just make the video day after i will edit it the day after that i'm just gonna post it honestly that hasn't really worked out for me maybe it might in the future but for now this is what works for me and i think this will work for you too uh before it goes away from my head but even if it did go like even if it like evaporated from my brain i would still have the idea as a real on my Instagram, how cool is that? So when I go back and see that, oh, I haven't made a short on this. Let me talk about what, what this is as a short. And once you have like eight reels out, you have the idea for your next YouTube channel. Reverse repurposing. How amazing, genius. So about the music, the bonus tip, okay? I'm such a music person. I love like, I love listening to songs. It's just, everybody does, I guess. I don't know if there's someone who doesn't like music. This music that's been going on has really helped me talk 
to you in the way I want to talk, guys. So when you make YouTube videos, you have to have a certain amount of energy, right? You cannot be like, you know, hey, today we're going to talk about... You cannot do that. You have to talk. Like, you have to be yourself. You have to... Of course, you can take your own speed while you talk. You don't have to, like, rush through things. But you have to be in a comfortable state of energy and headspace to be able to convey that message better with your audience. This is what works for me, guys. I have this freaking music. And it's, like, a nice, soothing, calming music. Sometimes it could be, like, a house mix. I'm such a house mix person. I love that music. So, sometimes it's, like, a nice summary music. But I love Love it and it's been working because look at me i'm just talking to you everything is like flowing out of my brain like i can talk to you like without thinking about it and give you my honest opinion take on things and i love that you should try this so this is actually a system that i'm building around me that makes things easier for me people make videos and then in the end they can add music to to your youtube videos but when you make that video when you talk to the camera to you guys there is no music around you right so you have to like constantly keep up with that energy and music helps if you put on your favorite music don't worry about how you look on camera i might be looking like an idiot now maybe because who talks on youtube with the headphones on i don't know but i love it and uh, you should try that too so slowly you're gonna develop all those systems around you this is my new system having headphones on while you make your youtube videos man oh my god call me a multitasker but i used to study with music on so maybe that helped but yeah so develop those systems around you and be in this headspace that is the most comfortable for you on youtube on your channel on your other handles because we all connect on the basis of emotions right you cannot i cannot be coming here and saying this and this and this and this and this and bye i can't do that i have to talk to you guys i'm such a deep conversation sort of a person so i have to have my heart put into my youtube videos when i talk and i have to be intentional about what i want to talk to you guys and i want to be connecting with you guys so if this helps this tiny little thing with music helps me do that if having a candle having that nice fragrance around you help you with that do that there was this shorts video that i put out talking about how all these people on short form content places like instagram reels and tiktoks and youtube shorts like talk about you have to be like really fast with your with your message and if you don't talk in like fast and just give all the message within like five seconds your people are gonna just click out of your videos and all that but i beg to differ i want to reset that for you i want you to take your own time when you talk to people because that is when when you're not rushed is when you can put out the maximum value for your community the, pe the people who follow you seriously why are you subscribed to me why why haven't you unsubscribed from my channel already because something that i say connects with you right as something that you want to implement in your journey and you want to grow with me you want to see me grow and i want to see you grow so that's why we try and connect with each other right so my purpose here is not to beat the algorithm not to not to do anything just be myself and put my authentic self out there and see who connects with me because i say that in almost all my reels your people and people who relate and resonate with you are going to want to follow you and join your community go watch that video i spoke about the english accents and i will see you in the next video